Hey there fellow physics studentos. So today we're going to be working on the ground to ground soccer kick problem. And um, we're just going to look through our variables and go ahead and use our intuition and human knowledge and instinct to solve this problem effectively. So what we're going to be trying to find is the time of flight uh, that the ball is in the air. Uh, the horizontal displacement or the range and the maximum height of the ball and we are given the initial velocity of 28.4 meters per second a theta of 67.7 degrees and a gravitational acceleration of 9.9 .9 meters per second squared so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get started All right, so I have um, all the variables here, the ones that we need to find, and a uh, drawing of a pigeon uh, via Mr. Anglert's inspiration. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to it. So the first thing that we want to find is the t, or the time that it's in the air, and we can do this by deriving uh, the simple equation t equals two times the initial velocity times the sine of theta divided by the gravitational acceleration. And this is great because um, with this time equation we have all the values that uh, we need to solve the equation. So we have our initial velocity, we have a theta, and we have a gravity. So let's go ahead and just uh, plug in what we know and solve for what we don't know. So 2 times 28.4 uh, times the sine of 67.7 uh, over 9.9. .9. And let's just do some calculator stuff here. And make sure your calculator is in degree mode when solving uh, the sine and cosine functions that we'll do later. Okay, and this uh, time it gives me is going to be 5.3 seconds. And uh, it's important to note, too, that the time that I just calculated, if we think about the ball flying off, um, and we're going to go from A to B, the time that we just solved, this 5.3, is the time that the ball is going to be in the air from A to B. But to find something like the height, we want to get one half of uh, the time between A and B. Uh, let's call this A prime. So say uh, we want to find the height of the ball, we're going to want the time between A and A prime, which is going to be just T divided by 2, or one half the time, which is going to be, in this case, 2.65 seconds because of the 5.3 divided by 2. And um, both of these times that we just calculated will come in handy later. So, Okay, and next up we're going to solve for the height. Since we now have the time and we have the uh, gravitational acceleration, we're going to use 1 half a t squared, where a is 9.9, .9. and the t squared we're going to use the 1 half t, so 2.65 squared. And that's going to be equal to, if we just churn all this out, it's going to be 34.76 meters, which we could just say is 35 uh, through rounding. And finally, before we solve for the range, we're almost there, home stretch, we have to find the velocity in the x, because that's the missing value um, for the range equation. So the velocity in the x is very simple. It's the initial velocity times 
the cosine of theta. And in this case, it'll be 28.4 times cosine of 67.7. which equals 10.8 uh, meters per second. So there's the velocity in the x, and now we can plug it into our range equation using vxt. So 10.8, and the t that we're going to use is going to be this t right here, the 5.3, since we're calculating the distance from a to b using the range. That's going to be equal to 57.2 meters. Or you just round up to 57. And let's go ahead and box up this answer. And there we go. And before we enter the answers into the um, website, we're going to want to convert these seconds into milliseconds and the way we do that is we multiply the time by a thousand so in this case 5.3 times a thousand is 5300 milliseconds and this is what we're going to just enter into the um, website's answer sheet so let's go ahead and do that right now so enter your name these are answers from a previous problem that I was doing, just for practice. So, 5300 is the time of flight. Uh, horizontal displacement, we said, was 57, and then the maximum height was 35. Let me just double check my answers here. 35, 57, 5300, looks pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and submit see what happens. So the ball gets kicked up there. It's a long way down. And there we go. And our calculations are correct as we can see here. So hopefully your calculations are correct as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and uh, good luck on your example problem, and hope to see you on the next one. Thanks.